the Observatoire Mini Pyrénées is the observatory of the science of the universe, one of the 25 French observatories, with mission in research, teaching, observation, spreading of scientific culture and international cooperation. We have seven labs, two labs in astrophysics and planetology, one lab in geosciences, one in oceanography, one in aerology and atmospheric sciences, one in uh, teledetection of continental surfaces and one in functional ecology. So we cover all the spectrum of research from Big Bang and cosmology to ecology. We work in gravity field modeling. We compute gravity fields using satellite data to compute static gravity fields, so an average over a long period of time, as well as averages over shorter periods of time, uh, for example, per month. And from this information, you can see the time evolution of mass redistributing over the Earth, caused by monsoons and snowfall and snow melt, but also, for example, glacier melt, so really loss of mass over Greenland and Antarctica. The mean gravity fields are used for reference systems, for height systems, and in oceanography as the reference surface to compute mean dynamic topography, and from that, the ocean circulation. And we have now the most accurate and highest resolution geoid, so this ocean reference surface, since the space age. Whenever there has been a recent arrival of magma and the mid-ocean ridge, under a plate boundary, we have some chance to find a hydrothermal vents. The bottom of the ocean is very cold. The hydrothermal plumes have very high temperatures because of the, of the high pressure. The temperatures can reach 300 to 400 degrees Celsius. Because of change in temperature and chemistry, there's a lot of precipitation. Most of the elements which precipitate actually are potential resources for the exploitation of iron, nickel and copper. We have in the Observatory Midi Pyrenees and Laboratory Geoscience Environment Toulouse all the analytical facilities our researchers need to finalize their different studies. We are here in the ICPMS lab where our geochemists can do their different analysis focusing on rocks, water and soil, but also some biological samples can be done in this laboratory. My research has been devoted to understand the geochemical aspects of water-rock interactions, lately involving CO2, gas, and also microorganisms. Most of the time, experimental geochemistry and experimental tools are the only way to understand their behavior and how they evolve. One of the most important applications of this research is the formation and distribution of economic ore deposits of metals. We are trying to understand how the metals can be extracted, transported and precipitated by geological fluids. We cannot sample these fluids because they are situated very deep in the crust. By contrast, we can create similar conditions in controlled laboratory experiments and to simulate what happens at depth in our small autoclaves or special cells in the lab. Research is integrating uh, different scales from the mineral scale, where we uh, analyze uh, in details the age and pressure temperature conditions affecting the, the rocks. And we integrate these uh, very fine scale measurements into regional scale studies that allow to appreciate how deep processes are contributing to the formation of a mountain belt. Mountain belts form where tectonic plates are interacting and converging to, towards each other. We are interested both at processes that occur at the depth in the root of the mountain belt and also what happens at the surface of the mountain belt. We all know about the impact of CO2 which is related to human activity on the climate but the climate is also related to how mountain belts form and how they are distributed at the surface of the earth. Our goal is really to reconstruct the past climate with numbers. What is the past temperature? and also what is the relationship between the continental surface, the way the continents are moving, the way the mountains are rising, and the change in climate and in the carbon cycle. So for that, we are using numerical models, and we are trying to validate our output with paleontological data. When we would like to reconstruct the global system, we need to reconstruct the ocean, the atmosphere, the continental surface, 
And we can find a lot of specialists of all those stem at the Observatoire Midi Pyrénées. So it's the best place on earth to work on that. The research in geology that we carry out here in extreme environments is oriented toward the comparison between Mars and the desert of Oman in the Arabic Peninsula because we are trying to connect lab work, field work and space-borne observation. The case of Oman shows that this new type of investigation allows the production of a synoptic mapping with the detection of units unseen from field work. And this incidentally helps understanding the making of the oceanic crust. On the planetary study side, the training of this methodology and its validation with terrestrial ground truthing made possible to chart totally unknown terrains and units on Mars. And a striking example has been given by the detailed ethological mapping of a volcanic unit called Certis Major, which is about the size of France and that we have been able to chart with this approach. The Observatoire Midi Pyrénées is a unique lab in France where people from different specialties in earth science work in very close association with astronomers. And actually, we are making a new kind of science that we can call planetary geology. One of the main issues for the future of the Observatoire Midi Pyrénées is to reinforce our multidisciplinarity in order to better understand the Earth system. And we have to better develop the interdisciplinarity between all these areas in order to understand better the interaction between the different envelopes of our Earth system.